Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about Retool, especially if you're just starting out. Retool is an incredible platform that lets you build internal tools faster and more efficient. If you're connecting databases, creating dashboards, or automating repetitive tasks, Retool makes it easy to customize and code your tools the way you want. In this video, I'll show you how to sign up for Retool, give you a quick overview of the dashboard, and guide you through building your first app. Finally, we'll explore how to add your team members to your retool account to supercharge your workflow. So let's dive in and get started. If you're not already familiar with retool, let me give you a quick overview. Retool is a low code platform designed for building internal tools quickly. It allows you to seamlessly connect to databases, APIs, and services like Firebase or PostgreSQL and use pre-built components to create apps. What sets retool apart is its ability to combine drag and drop UI components with custom coding for complete flexibility. This makes it an ideal tool for developers and teams who want to save time and focus on more impactful work. Now, let me walk you through how to sign up for a Retool account. The process is super simple and I'll guide you through it step by step. First, go to retool.com. Once you're on the home page, look for the Start for Free button located at the top right corner of the screen. Click on it and this will take you to the sign up page. On the sign up page, you'll see options to continue with Google or manually enter your email address and passwords. For this tutorial, I'll I'll demonstrate signing up manually. Enter your work email and create a strong password in the provided fields. Once you've filled in the details, click the continue button. If you prefer, you can also sign up using your Google account by clicking the continue with Google button. This option simplifies the process and saves time by linking your account directly. Once your account is created, you'll be redirected to the retool dashboard where you can start building your first app. Now, let's take a look at the retool dashboard. At the very top, you'll notice a horizontal menu with options like apps, resources, database, query library, and workflows. Each of these tabs is designed to help you build, manage, and customize your internal tools efficiently. The apps tab is your main workspace where you can create, organize, and manage all your applications. As you log in, this is the default tab where you will land, making it a central hub for your activities. It's better to explain a little more about its layout and functionality. On the right-hand side, you'll find the Get Started panel, which offers quick links to create a web app, mobile app, resource, workflow, or form. This section is perfect for jumping straight into your projects without any hassle. Below this, you'll see a what's new section. This area highlights the latest features and updates, such as error reporting, external apps, and workflow enhancements. And it's worth checking out to stay up to date with Retool's capabilities. Finally, the main area of the dashboard displays your existing projects. You can see a list of apps, their status, and the last editor who worked on them. Next is a resource tab. Here you can connect to various data sources like APIs, databases, or third-party services. This tab is crucial for integrating Retool with your existing infrastructure. The Database tab allows you to manage and interact with your databases directly from Retool. This is a powerful feature if you need to query or modify your data. Query Library is where you can save, manage, and reuse SQL or API queries across your applications. This is a time saver if you frequently use the same queries in multiple apps. Workflows is a tab dedicated to building automations and back-end processes. You can create workflows to automate repetitive tasks or streamline complex operations. That's a quick overview of the Retool dashboard. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Now, let me show you how to create an app in Retool. To begin, head to the top right corner of the dashboard and click the blue Create button. This will open a drop-down menu where you'll see several options like App, Module, Mobile App, Form, and more. Select App to start building your app. After selecting App, you will be taken directly to the App Builder. This workspace has three main sections to help you design your app efficiently. On the left side, you'll see the Components tab, which includes commonly used elements like buttons, text inputs, tables, and more. 
simply drag and drop these components onto the canvas to add them to your app. Additionally, click the untitled option above the components section to give your app a name and description. You can also choose a folder to save it in. Next to the name of your app, there is a default page option. This allows you to view the default page and add a new page to your app by clicking on the add new page option. The middle section or the canvas area is where you'll arrange and design the layout of your app. On the right side, the inspector tab allows you to configure the properties of the selected component, such as its appearance and functionality. To build your app, start by adding components from the left panel. For instance, drag a button onto the canvas and use the inspector to customize it by changing its text, color, or actions. You can repeat this process with any other components to create a fully functional app. When your app design is complete, click the save button to save your work. To see how it performs, use the play button at the top right corner to preview your app in action. If you're happy with the results, you can share your app by clicking the share button to generate a shareable link or invite collaborators. That's it, you've successfully created your first app in Retool. Now, if you have a team and want to add them to your Retool account to help you build apps, you can easily do this while providing specific permissions such as admin rights. Here's how you can add users to your Retool account. To add users, first off, click the profile section in the top right corner of your dashboard. From the drop down menu, select settings. This will take you to the settings page. Once you're on the settings page, click on the users tab in the settings menu. Here you'll see a list of all the users currently added to your account along with their permissions. To add a new user, click the invite button located in the top right corner. A pop-up menu will appear where you can invite users by entering their email addresses in the user emails field. You can add one or multiple email addresses here. Below the email field, you'll see a permissions group section. This lets you assign roles or groups to the new users, such as all users or admin to define what they can access and manage within Retool. Once you've entered the necessary details, click the invite users button. The invited users will receive an email invitation and after accepting it, they will be added to your Retool account with the permissions you've assigned. Retool is a low code platform designed for building internal tools quickly. It allows you to seamlessly connect to databases, APIs and services like Firebase or PostgreSQL and use pre-built components to create apps. What sets Retool apart is its ability to combine drag and drop UI components with custom coding for complete flexibility. This makes it an ideal tool for developers and teams who want to save time and focus on more impactful work. And that's it for this tutorial. Today we covered how to sign up for Retool, explored its dashboard, created and customized your first app, and even learned how to add your team members to your Retool account. Hope this guide made everything clear and easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with Retool, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.